Torah for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of Judges, Judges chapter 2, where verses 15 to 19, we see the people of God crying out in their distress to the Lord, God raising up now called judges or governors to rule over them. They are happy, and then eventually they start going back to their old ways of sin and rebelling against the Lord and backsliding. And I wanted to speak about this backsliding um, because we all do. We all sin. However, there are those who believe that if people backslide, they've lost their salvation. Hebrews chapter 6, verses 4 to 6 is often used as an illustration of people losing their salvation as those who partake of the things of God, the Holy Spirit, they taste of the heavenly things and they fall away and there's no repentance and they fall away and they and it looks like they lost their salvation. That's not the case. The key word, brothers and sisters, in the scripture is tasted. They tasted of the heavenly things. They did not digest it. When I was younger, I was dating a girl who was anorexic and she would taste her food. She would partake of the food, even take it in and then throw up and bring it all up again. And that's how you get sick. She was very skinny, very frail, very fragile, and would often get sick because all she did was taste the food. She didn't allow it to digest into her body and feed her body and keep it healthy. And that's the same way spiritually. When we taste of the heavenly things, but we do not digest it, we are not truly showing ourselves to be saved. These people in Hebrews chapter 6, verses 4 to 6, were never really saved. 1 John chapter 2, verses 18 and 19 tells us that there are those who are called antichrists. They're against Christ, but they were in church. They seemed to rejoice in the Lord. However, it says they went out from us because they were never really with us. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 to 23, says that many will be saying, Lord, Lord, didn't I do this? Didn't I do that? And Christ is going to say, I never knew you. Why? Because they worshiped God with their lips. They had doctrine that was vain. Matthew chapter 15 verses 8 and 9 says this. Christ said, these people worship me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Not everybody who says, Lord, Lord, is going to be saved. That means they were never saved in the first place. You cannot lose your salvation. Genuine repentance will be seen if you're godly, if you have godly sorrow. 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10 says that there's worldly sorrow and there's godly sorrow or repentance. Godly sorrow is those who sin come to their senses like the prodigal son in Luke chapter 15, verses 11 to 32, and return home to the Lord. Worldly sorrow, those who cry out to God because they only got caught in what they were doing, what was wrong in their life, and the consequences, they feel bad for the consequences not because they have offended a holy God. My friends, today I hope we can understand that we all backslide. These people in the days of judges, they cried out for a judge or a governor in their distress, and then they backslid. We too backslide often from our governor, the Lord Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 tells us that Christ would be the one who would have the governor the governorship of all the world, all the governments would be on his shoulders. The ultimate governor or ruler is Christ. And how often we too, in our distress, we cry out to the Lord. He answers us, but we sometimes fall back into our old ways. But we who are truly saved will show genuine godly repentance, godly sorrow because we've offended a holy God. Just like the prodigal son, as I said in Luke chapter 15, verses 11 to 32. He went out, he lived a reckless life but he came to his senses and he returned back home that is what genuine repentance looks like yes we all backslide i have backslidden many times in my christian walk mostly lately in my mind at times struggling with my thoughts but when i was younger in my christian walk some 30 35 years ago i got saved at a young age i backslid into the world and the things of this world but as second timothy chapter 2 verse 13 says even when I was faithless, God remained faithful to me. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 tells us that he who began the good work will be faithful to complete it. Salvation doesn't belong to our faithfulness. 
Salvation belongs to the faithfulness of God, seen in the covenant that he's made with us through his son, Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my dear brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video today, Lord. I pray that many will not be too hard on themselves when they sin. But if there's true godly sorrow and repentance in their lives, give them the assurance that they are saved, O Lord God. Yes, we are told in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5, that we are to examine ourselves to see if we're in the faith. And when we truly look at ourselves in the mirror, Lord, may we see not ourselves or our faithfulness or even our sins, but the faithfulness and the love and the blood of Jesus Christ poured out for us and for our salvation. In Jesus' name I pray. God bless you all today, my brothers and sisters. And remember, if you sin, confess it, repent, move on, let go, and let God.